but you know, you look at the the Blu-ray players. I mean, take the the PlayStation Three for example, which is a Blu-ray player, um, and people worry about the the backwards compatibility of, of older formats, etc. My PlayStation Three plays everything, and I'm not just talking now uh, CDRs, DVD RWs. I'm talking XVID, DivX. Um, you can throw absolutely anything onto this machine; it has no problem playing it. The bonus for anybody with a high definition television that's maybe spent a lot of money is the fact that your Lord of the Rings now looks about a thousand times better than it did when it was on DVD or videotape or anything else for that matter. Um, not very discernible to most people's. Uh, oh, it's it's well for me. Maybe I'm looking for it. I mean, even if the high resolution, if your eye does not perceive, does not really see the differences, it's more it, kind of promotional talk. It's a thousand times better, or it's got more storage. But it's some... for for me personally, and this is my personal opinion, um, from oh, being a, a big fan of Lord of the Rings, and I, in fact, I watched it just uh, last the other oh, night um, on New Year's Eve. Um, oh. Comparing the Blu-ray version to the DVD looks like some knocked-off pirate, um, the DVD version. The, the Blu-ray version is considerably and noticeably crisper, sharper, uh, more defined. It, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, and whilst, obviously, everybody doesn't expect me to uh, sit here promoting these type of formats, I have to be honest and say that, obviously, now with, the, uh, with Blu-ray and these type of films coming out on Blu-ray and the quality that you get for roughly the same price as the DVD, for me, there's no competition, and I'll certainly be replacing all my box sets and uh, that I've bought on DVD with the uh, with Blu-ray. Does it make me a victim of uh, consumerism or big companies? Probably yes, but it's something I enjoy. Uh, I certainly couldn't live without my Lord of the Rings and uh, Harry Potter and all that type of uh, all those sort of films. So that's just me personally. Um, sorry, I, I digress. Um, we'll skip on to the next bit yeah. of. Um, I even Sorry, have an interest uh, and the reason I bring these issues up, and previously I was talking about statistics, and I was talking about uh, issues to do with the impact of using certain, uh, I would call them objects or products or whatever. Uh, one of the, the things that make people not think about these issues is education and imposed uh, behavior. Uh, how people are taught to treat the certain things they receive, not think about the long-term consequences or uh, or the options that they have. Uh, and I personally, at least in my side, try to encourage people to think about these issues and also take into consideration the uh, behavior, uh, the choice of things and what you accept and what it actually does to other people around you too. Uh, so this is one of the reasons when you mention Blu-ray and you say, I hope it catches on. I'm just kind of thinking I mean probably... We don't want all these patents, and, and as you know, Blu-ray and Linux is kind of a really toxic mixture, so anything even to do with television that runs Blu-ray uh, involves a thicket of patents and things like that. Uh, we try to discourage that. Google, Google itself is trying to avoid that. And Google is using Linux in its television software. Now it's got its own codec, which it makes open source, and it has no intention of using patents. Quite the contrary, it tries to... Uh, to, to get rid of patents in the space and, and try to commoditize the, uh, the space. I mean, what, what I would just say in closing, before I just quickly rattle off the other two figures that came out, yeah, I tend to look at a Blu-ray purchase and the DVD purchase um, of these sort of titles as going to the pub. Um, you know, you go out for a night, you'll spend £30, and two days later you'll have absolutely nothing to show for it. Now, if it turns out in five years' time, that my Blu-ray discs are worthless because there's a new format come out which isn't backwards compatible, etc., etc. Well, so be it. Um, and I, th- I think a lot of our society, or a lot of our enjoyment or things we enjoy doing, are very, uh, very short term. So when you compare a £25 box set on Blu-ray to a £25 out, uh, yeah, you have to think about photos though. Usually home videos and things like. I'm not sure if you had experience, but lots of people. One of the things that happened to them is because there are restrictions on sharing of videos over a, a hard drive from Western, uh, from uh, the, what's it called? What's it called? Sorry. Uh, Digital West. God, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, uh, a certain company would try to discourage you what? from sharing things. Oh, that Western, Western Digital. Budget. Yeah, yeah, Western, Western Digital. Digital. Yeah, it just came back. I'm not sure why it's gone. Uh, so, so. If people were trying to share videos over the network, and even their, you know, even people who filmed their daughter could not actually get access to this type of film because they were perceived to be uh, copyright infringers. Uh, 
sometimes you have issues with DVD or with codecs that they don't have access to. And these are the sor sorts of things you probably will want to open in 10 or 20 years. And this actually already happens with photos, with all kinds of services that shut down. People uploading photos, they don't keep local copies of the photos, and then the service of the photos just basically shuts down or doesn't make it available anymore. So there's lots of their past. I mean, I, I, I completely agree, Roy, but I think the arguments um, or the debate over the uh, Blu-ray Hollywood title is very different to the personal, um, you know, your personal video collection. And I would say as well, you know, I mean, I, I, I do very little um, videoing of uh, family events, but when I do, you know, I will convert it myself um, which, into which, an, which an open... You probably will use the same codex as they use for what they try and do is to commoditize and to make mm. standard. One of the things that happened with MPEG LA is that they try to ensure that you will be very relieved relieved to use their codex because you say, oh, it works everywhere. Of course, they'll change the format and they will kind of start to pull money out of people in the form of lawsuits and things like that. They actually have a patent troll running the company. Uh, and what they then do is they encourage you to put your videos, your personal videos, your personal recordings, your MP3s and everything in the same format. And a while later, they come and they try to punish you in all sorts of ways. They use all kinds of bullies. I don't, I'm not sure if you've ever seen this company called Sisfell, where they actually go into shows and uh, with weapons and stuff and try to s scare people who are just selling things that can play MP3s. Uh, so this it's kind of a scary thing when you watch how they use this hostage, all the content uh, that, the ho that a family would use. And they use as an excuse, they use Hollywood to try and, and standardize and popularize a certain uh, set of codecs, uh, and they will find their way to your stuff too, so you should be careful. You know, as they say, if you if you use your uh, computer only for work, it's likely that your games and your uh, all kinds of things like habits will go into using Windows as well. So, and then in, in turn, you, you find yourself, you, you find your house uh, to be more of a kind of a, prisoner of Microsoft in some sense. Uh, Sorry, Gordon, that, you, that, we that, cut you out there. Yeah, that, that little um, thing that just at the end there, all I can think of is the Musicians Guild in Discworld, um, <laughs> who, are essen who are essentially thugs who turn up at concerts, and unless you're a fully paid up member of the guild, um, <laughs> they, they, they will extract it. You're not allowed to play music unless you're a paid up member of the guild. Um, and then when you go to try and sign up, you've got all these forms, and it's like, Six points each. I've also been saying in recent sorry, I was just quick I've been saying to people in recent days that the worst way to 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 punish or to, to retaliate against these companies that sue people over copyrights for all the ridiculous things like even kids at a school. Now kids at a kindergarten in Germany cannot sing the you know songs without pain. You know, you know, kids at the age of five. The worst thing you can do to these people is to ignore the music that's supposedly mainstream, the main big musician. Don't get it illegally. Don't download it. Don't share these files. Just make sure you don't have anything to do with these files and try to push them off the, off the, uh, the, off, off the counter. That's, that's see, see, there's, there's, there's that. That's, that's one way to deal with it. Is just ignore them. Don't actually, buy, don't buy anything from them. But that, of course, as soon as you do that, they look at the sales figures and go piracy. Piracy, that's got to kill the pirates, got to put, lock all the pirates up, got to get all these new laws because we had all these sales figures before and nobody's buying from us anymore. It's those thieving bastards, the pirates. That's, that's what's causing it. They're not, and that's the excuse. You know that's, that, you know that's the reasoning. They're going to go straight into the MPs and into the politicians and into the lawmakers and lobby them and say it's the pirates. That's the problem because no one's buying their stuff. Not the fact that they've been boycotted for, for all these stupid losses. Well, I'm sorry, we've all digressed there. <laughs> and I will finally get to the end of these uh, these sales figures. Uh, so just just very briefly now, we'll go over the last few bits. Um, the best-selling game over Christmas, um, according to Amazon, was uh, Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops. And that was for the Xbox 360 version. Um, that was coming in at number one. Um, the PlayStation 3 version, conversely, number three. Um, so that, again... Uh, it was quite an interesting little uh, little spec there because obviously if the uh, the PS3 controller is coming in at one uh, for the hardware and then you have a P uh, an Xbox game coming in at number one um, on the software front. But 
the biggest selling uh, or the best selling um, piece of hardware. You have to remember business. Amazon is not a very international thing uh, yeah. in terms of distribution. So you still look at the so if you if you're looking at Amazon as some sort of a yardstick or statistics, no, you have to ask what, what is Amazon to 